Las Vegas tonight as we get you the tail of the tape. A couple of 28-year-old lightweights trying to build their resumes. Jamie Malarkey is the biggest betting favorite on the card. We also highlight the sizable height advantage, Danny three inches taller and four-inch edge in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first... Fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. Eight wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Dushanbe, Tajikistan, Muhammad Hilman Naimov. And when the action begins, our fighter fighting out of the red corner is a freestyle fighter. Holding a record, 16 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting at a Central Coast, Australia, Jamie Malarkey. And our referee for this event, Herb Dean. Quite a different set of circumstances for Jamie Malarkey when he was about to board the plane. He was gonna be the biggest betting underdog on the card when he took on Guram Kutataladze. Instead, he's the biggest betting favorite now, taking on Mohamed Naimov. Crazy. Nice change. Isn't that crazy? crazy. Right. Yes. Right. It's fight. <laughs> but Malarkey figures to be game no matter who he's fighting. He's in the green. Naimov is in the white. Yeah, and, and all jokes aside, Brendan, the change in circumstances as well, because Malarkey, as we said, went through several opponents. Naimov just found out on Tuesday. In fact, he was eating shashlik. He said it's Tajikistan barbecue. That's in right. his words, like Americans could never do. Right, he's talking to Laura from Kansas City. Yeah, he's going to have to watch his mouth. You know? <laughs> we'll, we'll have a barbecue off. But the I'm, shashlik sounds good, though. It does sound good. It does sound very good. I'm excited to see what he's what he's going to do in this first round because Naimov starts hot. And yeah. the leg kicks especially. I mean, he's coming right off of a head, a head kick knockout coming into this fight outside of the UFC. A lot of momentum. Ooh. Nothing to lose. Well, both guys are explosive strikers. Malarkey more of a boxing style. But as we said, Naimov loves to spin, loves the head kicks, loves to shoot a double leg as well. Last time Malarkey was here at the UFC Apex was last July. It was one of the best fights of the year here at the Apex against Michael Johnson. You can see when you look at these two, there's a nice body shot by Malarkey. Going to keep him on the end of the shots. Ooh. Got a four-inch reach advantage. Use the jab, crowd the kicker, put him on his back foot. Malarkey trying to close the distance. Nearly a clash of heads as they clinch now. Body lock for Malarkey, and he uses it to his advantage. Nicely done. That was touch and go there. Naimov almost turned it into like a hip toss. Naimov fighting this grip here. We'll see if he can strip the grip and spin back in. Naimov escapes to space. They return to center two minutes in. That jab of Malarkey is nice. Piercing. Oh, that was a good kick, though. He went right into it. But Malarkey took it. No problem. Oh, big right hand from Malarkey. You can see a little hesitation in the eyes of Naimov right now. I'm not saying that he's beaten. I'm not saying that he's mentally defeated. But you can see, you know, Malarkey's been in there with some great competition. He's had wins against fantastic competition, and you're stepping up a level when you step into the UFC octagon. Malarkey looking to reap the leg here. Just at best time. Just at best time. Malajit. Malajit. Everything is good. Spokoin addition. Yes, yes, yes. Kalena, this way, Kalena. Now, Imov so, so far doing a good job defending here. Now he's got left the under hook if we can get it. Full right. body lock. Right yeah. Double to your right under hooks. Side a no, get your not left quite. under hook deeper. Oh, Kalena, Kalena. Excellent. Naimov creating some space to go back to the center once again. The final two minutes of round one. Malarkey still with a bounce to his step, and he's looking to walk down Naimov. Yeah, when Jamie Malarkey finds his range and gets that jab going, he's absolutely hell on wheels for anybody. 
Yeah, he's got lovely footwork, cutting off the cage here, corralling him against the fence, keeping him at length. You know, that's what he's going to do. Use those straight shots, use the reach advantage, let the hands go. He's got beautiful boxing. I mean, the way he ripped to the body before, I like watching him fight. Ross Pearson doing a hell of a job coaching him. Take down attempt there from Malarkey. Defended well by Naimov, though. Yeah, that wizard really saved him there. He was in deep on that one. Shake your right elbow a little bit. Left underhook now. Head to your right side circle. We knew this was going to happen, Mohammed. Oh, nice uppercut by Naimov. Oh, and another one. Left hook got the target. Oh. oh, that's nice. To the body from Malarkey. Nice lead advancing elbow by Malarkey to finish off. Pretty decent round for Jamie Malarkey. Second round upcoming at lightweight. <clears throat> Deep breaths, suck them up, breathe, relax. Turn and face, beautiful round. Pressure was great, okay? So when you're getting into distance now, just let him go. Just not one single attack. He's counting one single attack. Yep. So once we get in, give him a couple, twos and threes, mixing up the levels, hit the body, come up with the elbow, back down in the wrestle. You've got to get in and then you've got to work, okay? Not just one attack on the in. Outside's perfect, shutting down the kick's perfect. Have fun. Yep. Let it go. Well, He's biting down all yeah. your feints. Don't fucking go, man. Right? Thank go. Yep. Soak it up. Just a little bit tighter on the way in. You don't drop them hands. Good. Show house. He's folding already. He's going. Okay. Pick it up again. See him again, Jigs. Back from break, and we told you that Tajikistan is an MMA crazed nation. This oh at 4.30 in the morning local time right now. Mohamed Naimov and Muin Gafur <laughs> Gafurov, who fights Stop. Stop. just a little bit later tonight as there's a low blow and a pause in the action. But that is that is a soccer stadium full yes. of people at 4.30 in the morning on the other morning. side of the world for these guys. Incredible. And these are guys making, you know, their UFC debuts. Yes. Imagine yes. if we were talking, you know, like a number one contender fight or a title fight, the scenes out of Tajikistan. Well, we would be in Tajikistan for that, wouldn't we? we would. UFC Tajikistan. Sure? Let's go. Me and you. Right. Uh, us you three. Buddy. How about that? I don't I mean, know. I guess I'd go. Just me and you. <laughs> I'd go. I'd go. I want some of that shashalika. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a John Gooden assignment, if I'm honest, Brendan. Okay, yeah, he's closer, that's true. Yeah. However it has to be, I just hope everyone has fun. So, in between rounds there, Ross Pearson, liking what he saw from Jamie Malarkey, said, hey, continue doing what you're doing. Everything looks tight, keep crowding him, have fun. Oh. He, said, he said, you're ahead, you know, you're winning everything, just watch the kicks. Sticking the jab there. That calf kick of Naimov is is landing, and if that continues to land, that could spell trouble for Jamie Malarkey because... Oh, that's oh. a nice shot. But that's going to spell trouble even more so for Naimov. Look at Jamie, see, he's in the zone now. He's enjoying himself. Head movement's coming alive. He's moving around. He's cutting off the cage. Nothing makes your confidence grow like landing your own shots. But Naimov is still dangerous. Still very much in this fight. You know he's going to start resetting that lead. Oh. And it's in those interactions when Jamie kind of gets on the inside. Naimov came close with an uppercut, came close with that front kick as well. Finish that with Gaethje. 
Malarkey does such a good job of sliding just out of range as Naimov comes in with his own offense. Yeah. Nice little step one, through spin to the body. But now Malarkey has the hands locked and he's chasing a takedown. Looking to reap the leg of Naimov. There it is. Well done. Takedown Nicely number done. three of the fight for Malarkey as he works on the ground with three minutes to go in round two. So Naimov's got to be careful. He's going to give up the back here. Classic mistake, but he's, but he's up and he's not in any danger. However, Malarkey's still in deep, got his arms wrapped around him, might take him back down. The priority here for Naimov is to strip that grip and try to get the hands free of Malarkey. He might look for a uh, more grip there he, briefly, but it doesn't look like he's got enough of an angle to find it. Finding the hole for some of those right hands from in close. For some urgency to escape for Naimov. Oh, oh, look at that. Kick and he followed it up with the left hook. I tell you, that, that was a vicious kick. Had that have found them all. Had decapitated someone. Had that have found them all. They would have been partying in Tajik. Oh! Counter right! And that will do it. Wow. Mohammed Naimov with a huge comeback knockout win. And there it what is. What a moment in the UFC debut for the Hillman. Oh my gosh. Man, Emotions let's take a look at this. running high for Mohamed Naimov and why not? Look at, there it is, just a short little right hook, kind of on an even stance, not even in southpaw or orthodox, kind of steps back here, just throws it, boom, finds the mark, sits him down, few follow-up shots, you know, and that's devastating for Jamie Malarkey. You know, he, he was in control the, mo the majority of that fight, but you can't take anything for granted. Mohamed Naimov, I mean, a beautiful stoppage. And he came over here and reminded us how badly he has been wanting this opportunity. Dana White said, be ready for something last minute. And here he is. And Malarkey, I think, protesting the stoppage a little bit as he stumbled to his feet, but Mohamed Naimov gets the big moment. We'll hear from him coming up. 